Yo, what's good with y'all, bruh? So look, we have a new series, right? This is still Genie Talks, but it's Genie Talks Astral Edition, where I share different astral experiences, right? This one's going to deal with, it's going to deal with this like quantum civilization that's low-key like a cult, you know what I'm saying, that I visited last night. And it was really interesting. I have past life ties to it. The way I found out about it is freaking wild. We're going to explain all that. I'm, I'm going to show you guys what it looks. I'm going to show you guys what like the galaxy looks like that it's, that it's inside of. I'm going to tell you guys about the history, what I learned from them, my past life connection with them. It's, it gets really interesting, right? If you guys want like more astral experiences, I will be sharing more on my Patreon. Um, Patreon seeing this video on what? I made this video. Come on, show the freaking date. I made it on the 28th. Yeah, you know how when your phone charges, it'd be like, it's this percent charged. I want to see the date, son. Come on now. But nah, it's April 28th when I'm recording this, right? So April 29th, right? Which is going to be a Monday, right? Patreon. On Monday, I think I'm going to record the video about the frogs who tried to freaking destroy time. And then on Tuesday should be about my experience in Paradox Palace, I think. So if you guys want to check that out on YouTube, those should be up by the time you see this video. So, hey, with that being said, those get into this video right here. Drop a like right now. Subscribe if you're new. This drone was freaking crazy, bro. So let me show you guys what the galaxy looks like, right? You have this galaxy right here. It looks fucking beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And it's inside the Leo constellation, right? It's in this constellation right here. You know what I'm saying? So with this galaxy, right? I was first learning about it when I was getting taught about the Omniverse, right? And how different consciousnesses formed as the Omniverse developed, right? So at some point, I was getting to mammals, specifically felines. I haven't even dived fully into mammals because they're such a big fucking thing. But I was getting briefed a little bit about mammals, especially felines, right? And I was being told about how, like, even though, like, you had felines who, like, even though, like, you had feline life that started in Lyra, Lyra wasn't going to be, Lyra wasn't meant to be the home of felines long term. It's like, yeah, like, you had the shit originate there, kind of, but feline consciousness, especially lion consciousness, developed mainly in the Leo constellation, you know what I'm saying? And when you actually look at Lyra, right? When you look at Lyra's galaxies, Lyra has a whole bunch of galaxies, but they're always like small and not that developed because the con it's like the feel and these these galaxies will be feel like galaxies, but it's like they're it's like when you when you see the beings there it's oftentimes just young developing feline consciousnesses which spread out from that galaxy and then moved into the they moved into the Lyra constellation. You know what I'm saying inside of this galaxy. You see. But inside Leo, they have several galaxies that have hella felines that are hella mature and developed, this one being one of them. So I was being shown all these different galaxies and um, I was being like shown the different felines that live there. Like right here, right? My favorite felines that live here are what I, I used to call them cosmic felines, but now I'm calling them quantum felines. But they essentially with these cosmic felines, right? They like right now, they look like they're pretty much like these white felines, right? But like, like, imagine like you have like a lion, right? Like, they'll have like this cosmic, like, red shit, like, on their mane. And also, like, it's, it's like always like with all these different cosmic felines, whether it be like the because there's they have the I've seen the tiger, I've seen the lynx, but like the lion's always the most prominent one. And no matter what, they always have some cosmic, it's like, it's like, it literally looks like this red shit that's like right here, you know what I'm saying? might be a little bit more red it's a little bit more red especially like with the big like some of the felines have the cosmic shit all over like they're literally made out of that cosmic shit and it's 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 a darker red than this and it has some other it has some other colors inside there too you know what i'm saying but um with these i, I didn't see those until like way later you know what i'm saying at first i just saw the cosmic ones right and they always have, like, the cosmic shit, like, right here-ish. You know what I'm saying? Now, like, some have different varieties where, like, they'll have, like, some of the shit on their paws or, like, on their arms. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they'll have, like, different manifestations, but they always seem to have it somewhere around here. That's, like, a staple. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, like, not even, like, if you, like, 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 with a lynx, right? Lynxes don't have manes, but, like, they'll have it, like, on, like, the head and, like, right here. 
I don't know what's up with maybe because of how it connects with the brain and sh you, that would make a lot of fucking sense. At, oh, yo, I'm on to some shit. Stop fucking playing, bro. I be getting downloads mid video, just like, just like, just like if y'all was inside the Discord, bro, during the class that we had a few days ago, y'all would have saw how me and my boy was downloading information from this galaxy. Anyway, right? I'm, I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Anyway, right? They started off. I didn't even understand how they got that cosmic shit. I didn't. I just well, I kind of I I I figured that they mixed with like cosmic energy or something like that, and that's why they look like that. But I I understand way more about it now. But essentially, they started off as these white felines, right? And what these white felines would do, like they would just go around and like learn about the whole entire galaxy by testing cosmic phenomena. So, like, they'll, like, fucking, like, see nebulas and do fucking certain tests, and they'll fucking, like, try to, like, understand what about the fucking nebula and about the different stars and understand all the planets and shit. And pretty much, like, they would they would acquire all this cosmic information. They would do all these cosmic experiments and stuff like that to learn more about the galaxy and then spread the knowledge across the galaxy and stuff like that, you know? And with that being said, at some point, they, they encountered this ooze, I'm just going to say, right? There's actually a planet that's about, like, right here. I'm going to call it the land of the ooze, right? You know what I'm saying? And this ooze shit links up, bro. This shit is funny. Just keep, this video, just keep watching this video, bro. I'm going to talk about the experience, but I got to give you guys the freaking history about what even goes on here. You know what I'm saying? So... Like, you have, like, this land of the ooze, but you also have the ooze that, like, it's, like, it's, like... Like, it be, like, in the skies type shit. You know what I'm saying? And when they started experimenting with these, with, like, this ooze, they started, like, ingesting it. And, like, they noticed how, like, it would make them become quantum. You know what I'm saying? And at some point, these beings actually found out where to add this to their DNA. And that's why they started to appear having that cosmic shit on them. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it would allow them to always be connected with the quantum realm. Really, I should say the quantum plane. Like, like the quantum level of existence and the quantum level of existence has several different realms inside of it. Because now, instead of saying the 12 realms, I'll say the 12 planes now. You know what I'm saying? And then those planes consist of multiple different realms. And then those realms have dimensional spaces and those dimensional spaces contain worlds. See it like this, though. Bro, you have the 12 planes of reality, right? You have 12 layers of existence. Then you have multiple realms. You have multiple galaxies, right? Bro, there's at least 200 billion galaxies, right? You have these different locations, right? That are full of different dimensional spaces. You have different spaces inside these big-ass giant kingdoms, right? And these spaces tune the dimensions a certain kind of way in order to manifest certain worlds and on those worlds you have different beings that live inside different provinces and regions inside that world or you have a planet you have a world which is a planet and you have the different states and continents which are the which are the, which are the different provinces and regions you know what i'm saying so i just want to say that real quick so you have like the quant like they used the fucking cosmic shit to be connected and to be able to perceive the quantum plane or the quantum layer of existence at all times you know what i'm saying now there's actually some realms that are actually more quantum than physical you see there's some aka there's some galaxies that are more quantum than physical you see what i'm saying a galaxy is a realm and then the different stars or dimensional spaces, and then the different planets are the different worlds, and then the different continents and the states on the planet are the different provinces and regions. You know what I'm saying? But um, I said regions, regions. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. Well, all that being said, right? They 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 mix their DNA with the ooze to perceive the quantum plane at all times, right? I didn't even fully know that at first. I started learning that as time went on, especially like it got solidified last night. But let me look at my script real quick. So with all that being said, right? Let's talk about how even, let's talk about how I started learning about this shit. So I have a connection to this galaxy, right? Which I didn't understand fully until astral projecting there. Because when I astral projected there, what I did was I, I, I do this all the time where I'll use the astral to simply relive past life memories. I do that shit all the time. And there's actually like a galaxy, right? In the constellation Horror, Hor I don't know how to pronounce it, Horologrium? It's called the clock, essentially, right? There's a, there's a galaxy inside that constellation 
which inside that galaxy, they literally hold the Akashic records of different cosmic phenomena. So they'll have Akashic records for different galaxies, different planets, all that other shit. So you could just go to that galaxy and then pull the records for this galaxy. You know what I'm saying? But with me, I kind of I kind of do do that sometimes, but oftentimes I just relive my experience in that galaxy, especially because it's better to like learn about some shit through your own experience because you could learn about it. Like if I've never been there, I learn about it through the records of it. But if I have been there, I'll just see my experience type shit. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, that's what I did last night. But what, what made me what made me even want to do that is the fact that this shit really all started when I saw this rune, right? This rune is called, I call it Ocular Sight. Now, I would show you guys the rune, but it's low-key secret. It's a secret rune. Now, if you guys are inside the Discord, right? We had a class the other day about being a GFL agent and then during that I came on and then we started talking about this shit and I did show the rune but that's the only time I'm going to show that rune you know what I'm saying if you connect with the civilization that I'm talking about inside this video you'll naturally get you'll naturally get shown the rune now at that period of time I had no idea that this rune and by the way for those who don't know a rune is a certain symbol that carries a certain meaning and power right so I didn't know that this rune was connected with a certain civilization. All I knew was that it kind of dealt, it's like, I would see it like, it's like the rune appears like on your eye and shit like that, like on your third eye. And then it's like, you could like have it like, it's like, it's like, it'll be on your third eye, right? And then it's like, you'll project the rune onto something. So like, let's say I project it onto this card right here, right? I project it onto this card, right? And then it's like, the rune is now on the card, and the rune helps me to zoom into the card and perceive that card on quite some levels. You know what I'm saying? So ocular sight lets you like it's kind of like you like zoom in on things, and you can see them on more and more quantum levels. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, right? That is the rune that I was being shown, and I knew that it dealt with being able to, like, see, like, to, like, zoom in this shit and, like, focus on it, you know what I'm saying, I knew all that shit, right, I just didn't know, about, I didn't know it was connected to this galaxy, specifically the, specifically the planet that's about right here, like, like, the land of the ooze is about right here, like, it's, it's definitely in the middle somewhere, I was gonna be, like, maybe, like, all around here, but it's definitely not down here, it feels about, like, right here, you know what I'm saying, this feels right, but, um, with that being said, right, um, do y'all want me to put my shit down? Or do y'all like having the visual? I don't know. I'm going to put my shit down. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put my shit down now. But um, with all that being said, right? So it started with that rune. And then like a few days later from that rune is when I was being taught about the whole feline development shit. Hold up. Was that? Let me, see, let me pause this video real quick, actually. Yeah, I had to make sure I told y'all about learning about the different beings in the omniverse right so yeah that shit a few days after seeing that ocular sight shit is when i started learning about the different about the omniverse the different beings how they evolved with the omniverse then i started seeing i'm gonna just keep this shit up at this point then i started seeing this galaxy and stuff like that da 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 da, da yeah right so i was being shown all that shit right then how i got the timeline now you know what i'm saying <laughs> let me let me let me pull this down. I don't want y'all to see my script. You know, I don't want y'all to see my script. <laughs> let me pause this. Alright, so yeah. Uh, I was learning about felines and how they matured inside Leo. Then I was seeing the different galaxies, studying that shit. And then that's when I had the experience in the astral, right? So I either learned about that quantum shit, about because like I said before, I just called them cosmic felines, right? At some point at some point though. I knew there were quantum felines. It was either the day before. It was either the day before the experience, the day of, or the day after. You know what I'm saying? I had experience, right, where I just ended up inside the astral. And, like, I didn't know that I was in this galaxy, right? I just ended up in this place, and it was red as fuck. It was red as shit. And, like, I'm looking up at the stars, bro, and, like, they're, like, red, bro. It's like the whole sky is red as shit. It's like this, like, red gooey. It's like red and gooey a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fucking ooze. But, like, it's, like, so fucking red. And it's kind of making me, like... I'm kind of thinking, like, I'm like, where the fuck am I at right now, nigga? Am I in the fucking nethers, nigga? Like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, is a fucking demon gonna pop out? 
so from there i just like i i, I was like i want to go to Alturas. so i just like meditated and then like i was like i want to go to Alturas. i just started floating to Alturas. i started floating to Alturas. then i ended up in Alturas, right then when i woke up though officially right i realized that behind like i had this portal right that is linked to my own dimensional space so when I go inside that portal, it's like it's like I go inside it's like I go inside my room and it's just floating through the galaxy and I could go anywhere that I want from there, right? Behind that portal, I had a picture of the galaxy. So it's like I was it's like because the galaxy because the picture of the galaxy is behind the portal, when I go inside that portal, I go to that galaxy type shit. You see what I'm saying? I didn't even realize that shit till I woke the fuck up. I'm like, oh nigga, I was there. And I actually did have more information. Like, I did wake up knowing a bit more shit about that galaxy. You know what I'm saying? Which is why it might have been... It might have been the fact that I went there, which helped me to understand that they were quantum felines also, right? I think it was me going there to help me realize that, right? But then, right, a few days later, about two days ago, right? So I had that experience on April 23rd, right? The class was probably like April... I'm going to say anywhere from April 24th to April 26th. You know what I'm saying? It, no, it was probably like, uh, it's probably like April 25th, though. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like the, It was probably like then. But during that class, right, he was talking about being a GFL agent. So I joined the stage and I asked him what was his hardest mission. And then he told me. And then... He, you know what, Cash, if y'all don't know, if bro, when y'all when y'all hop on the stage with Cash, bro, this man is about... This, there's about there's about a 75 to 85 percent chance that he's gonna start talking to you about your spirit guides and be on some shit like oh your spirit guides is talking about this what's up with that so he did that with me he was like yo what's up with this room like that's the first thing he asked me he well maybe it was either the first or one of the first things he asked me right because i was outside when he asked me this shit you know what i'm saying then i had to go then i had to go inside he asked me about a room that i was working with right and i'm like hmm and he said that he's like it's kind of like dark a little bit. Like he couldn't tell if it was dark or not. And, I, and I'm I'm gonna explain why that is, right? So with that being said, when he asked me about that room, I'm like, let me go inside my room and show you the different rooms that I've been working with because like I just I've been getting shown runes and I just like draw them out. You know what I'm saying? So I went inside the crib and I showed him all the runes. He said, oh, it's that one. What is that? And I'm like, yo, it's ocular focus. And then he was. He was telling me how he got shown that shit also and how he was going to and he got told by his guides that it would make more sense what it means as the days go on. Then he talked to me and I'm like, oh, yeah, the rune helps you do this. And then he was telling me how it started. He was telling me how. What's, what's my fault? He started telling me how it was tied to a certain civilization. You know what I'm saying? He was like, there's like a certain civilization that would use the rune and stuff like that. And you're connected with them and everything like that. And I started seeing them, right? I started seeing this red shit, right? It's like this red. I started seeing like this red planet, right? And I kept seeing these beings go like this. You know what I'm saying? And like they have like this. They have like this cup. You know what I'm saying? I didn't fully see the cup until like we kept on talking more. But like they kept on going like. Ugh, uh, uh, uh. And, I, and I was seeing all different kinds of beings, right? But one of them was like insectoids, right? So I'm like, so I was like, is it an antennae that he was like, hmm, I don't know. But it, when he said, I don't know, I could tell that that means no, but he don't want to hurt my feelings type shit. You know what I'm saying? Or he just pretty let me not say that because technically he's not he's not really saying no. He just doesn't know because it's not being presented to him, right? Like when I asked him, he wasn't getting that. So he's like, eh. but I only asked that because Antennae has like that red shit and it has insectoids, right? But at some point he started talking about our lifetimes in Regulus and how Regulus is Regulus is in the Leo constellation. You know what I'm saying? So he was talking about Regulus, right? He was mentioning how like that civilization that I'm connected to kind of comes from that period of time, right? And how while being in Regulus, we kind of had some people get lost to the civilization, right? And when he said Regulus, I'm like, hold the fuck up. That's in the Leo constellation. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hold the fuck up. There's a fucking galaxy in that constellation. And the felines there deal with quantum shit. And this is a fucking quantum rune. So I'm like, hold the fuck up. Yo, is it this one? So I showed him a picture. He was like, oh, yeah, it's that one. He was like, yeah, it's that. 
and, and you peep out with the intonation. He's like, oh, I don't know, because he's not he's not able to, you know, he's not seeing it because it's not that one. But when I showed him the right one, he's like, oh, yeah, nigga, it's that one. I'm like, dog, that makes sense because, nigga, I was just there. You have these quantum fucking felines there. You know what I'm saying? You have this rune that helps you see the quantum shit. You know what I'm saying? So we started, like, tapping in more to, like, the quantum civilization, what the rune does. Then we started seeing, like, that ooze and how, like, it's, they'll be like, yo, like, when you drink this ooze, you get the sight. And it's like the rune is a symbol, like, for the sight, being able to see into the quantum. And, and it's like they fucking, like, worship this ooze. And it's like they started, um, it's like they worship the ooze and the rune. You know what I'm saying? And then after that class, I was getting way more. I was getting way more downloads about it. And one thing, right? This is gonna be a long ass video. Holy shit! One thing about it, though, right? Was that I was also learning about a few weeks ago how you have these scorpions, right? Who have all different kinds of venom. And one of these scorpions, right? They guard this portal that leads to like this quantum. It leads to a quantum realm, and I say a quantum realm because you have a, you have you have the quantum plane, and then different realms inside that plane. You know what I'm saying? Now the quantum realm that it led to was actually this galaxy. You know what I'm saying? Weird, you know. And the scorpions will guard the galaxy, right? They will guard the portal to this realm, right? Now with that being said, these scorpions, right? Their venom actually is partially made from the ooze that's inside that galaxy right so when they sting you you would actually become quantum so you will become quantum and kind of get sent to that realm type shit and kind of like be stuck as a quantum being you know what i'm saying like that would be like punishment it's like oh, oh you're trying to you trying to break into the quantum realm now we're gonna fucking make you become quantum and then boom you nigga you're fucked you know what i'm saying because it is one thing to actually it's one thing to go to that galaxy like for example right when you go to that galaxy right you, you could find the land of the ooze and then, like, control the ooze and then use it in certain kinds of ways and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But not be a quantum being, right? But when you're a quantum being, it's like, nigga, now you can't do the same. Like, if you're a quantum being now existing on the quantum plane, it's going to be harder to influence the fucking, like, physical plane. That's not quantum. You see what I'm saying? So... It's like punishment. You kind of get trapped inside the quantum, right? But it's so funny how it, how it linked up because the place that you get sent to, right, is where these felines started developing in. And with these felines, right, like when they started fucking with the ooze, right, of course you had experiments gone wrong. You had all this shit happen, right? But essentially... They mastered the ooze, right? And they mastered how to properly drink it and take it. And they also mixed it with their DNA. So now they actually became one with the ooze and stuff like that. So because of that, they learned a lot about the quantum realm. And they were able to, like, guide the people who got sent to the quantum realm. Because when you got sent there, right? When you, when you, when you just got stuck. Like, it's like the only way to fucking end the quantum shit is kind of like to fucking, like, die, essentially. You'd have to die, you know? But, um... While being there, right, it could be it could be very depressing. It could be like, damn, nigga, I'm all alone, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But like, you would meet these felines who kind of like help to like teach you. You know what I'm saying? And they'll make you see the beauty of the quantum realm. And, like, and it's like you kind of like become like a like. It's like instead of like being in the quantum realm, be like, oh my god, I'm fucking trapped here. It's like, nigga, I'm here, but this shit's lit, right? So because of the felines, right? Because the felines had like mastered this ooze and started mastering the quantum realm, they could help to like. They could help to, like, lead these people who had got trapped inside the quantum, right? And plus, you also had other quantum beings, too, like, with the insectoid beings, right? I kept on seeing insectoids because they existed on, like, the quantum level of the galaxy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you went there, not on the quantum level, you would see mainly the felines, you know what I'm saying? But when you went quantum, you would see all different kinds of beings, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like with these beings, right? They started worshiping the felines. You know what I'm saying? Because of how the felines kind of like mastered the quantum realm and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like the felines kind of like, it's like the felines exploring the quantum realm made the felines see the beauty of it, which helped them to show the quantum being is the beauty of the quantum realm right you know what i'm saying and he started to worship the felines and he especially worshiped how the felines had that ocular sight how they were able to become 
how they were able to be physical beings but still perceive the quantum realm. And then some of them could actually become quantum and then become physical. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get all up into that shit, bro. I still got way much to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, right? They worshipped how they had the sight and how the sight was gifted from the ooze. So because of that, they kind of like formed this cult that was centered around the ooze and being able to attain quantum sight. Because these quantum beings, right, they could see other beings that were in the physical, but those beings couldn't really see them type shit. You see what I'm saying? And they would kind of feel like alone, like, oh, I'm being ignored. Oh, no one recognizes me. You know what I'm saying? But these felines, they had the sight. So because of that, right, all these quantum beings, right, they wanted other beings to take the ooze so they could acquire the sight. And it's, it's crazy because with these quantum beings, right, the felines actually would be able to help some of them to actually stop being a quantum being and to become a physical being, right? You know what I'm saying? And so it's like with these with this quantum civilization, they wanted other people to be able to see them, right? So because of that, they wanted people to, like, drink the ooze, essentially, right? And that's where we get into fucking Ant-Man. Because, bro, there's this fucking... There's this Ant-Man scene, right, bro? Remember how I told you I was seeing these beings go, like, huh, huh, huh. Huh, huh. you know they were like they were like doing this right you know what i'm saying i couldn't i didn't really know what it was for but it just felt like they were like chanting right and it's like they were chanting and it's like they're like they're like saying it's like yeah like we fuck with the ooze and it's like oh like we fuck with this rune and like this rune's powerful it's like it's like some type of like chant that's like some type of like initiation chant that's like for the rune and for the ooze i knew it was for that and then i fucking remembered right after coming to this, I, I, I remember this shit a day before going here. You know what I'm saying? I remembered how inside the fucking Ant-Man movie, how they had a scene that looks damn near like this, bro. So let me show it to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Look at this shit, bro. Keep watching, bro. So you see how they talk about some fucking, you see how you see, you see how you see these, how you see these beings that are like cultish like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like they're kind of like a cult and they're doing this chant, initiating this motherfucker and then he drinks the ooze and now he can actually understand them and shit like that. Bro, it's just like with this fucking civilization, how nigga, like they were doing this shit, right? And they would have this like fucking golden chalice with this ooze. And then when you drink the ooze, you can actually perceive the quantum realm. You know what I'm saying? So like, 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 let me, let me go to my, let me go to my script now. Make sure I don't get off track. So with that being said, right? When it comes to these beings, right? They would want people to drink the ooze because it helps you understand them. And Ant Man is literally showing what the fuck it was kind of like. You see, like how like they like were dressed in like all these like different attire and stuff like that. Like it was dead ass like this. And like you would have beings that look like this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You see, you, like all yo this this shit. I gotta take a fucking this shit needs to be in the fucking. You gotta see this in the thumbnail, don't y'all? You know what I'm saying? They dead ass. It literally looks like this, bro. Shit literally looks like this, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It literally looks like this. So, yeah, bro, y'all, y'all, y'all got it, bro. This shit's real as fuck. So now with that, so with that being said, let's talk about my connection with them and how I even, you know, what I'm saying, interacted with them. So last night when I asked for projected, right, I went to relive my past life memories. So with that being said, I was seeing everything. So essentially, while being in Leo, right, 
I was this black lion, right? And as the black lion, I would help to guard the constellation with other black lions, right? Like, I was the king of the black lions, and we would help to guard the constellation, right? Then my boy Cash, he was the king of the white lions, and he would help to spread civilization and wisdom across the galaxy, you know what I mean? I mean, across the constellation. So, we would be in this constellation right here, you know what I'm saying? We'll be in Leo, right? Now, this star right here, I'm pretty sure, yeah, let me go to this one. So, you have Regulus and the Nebula, right? I would be mainly here because you also have hella fucking portals here and stuff like that, which I had to guard the portals and also guard the constellation from beings that might come through the portals. Then my boy Cash would be mainly in Regulus, right? But he would spread wisdom and civilization out from Regulus, right? So while doing that, right, while being in the nebula and being in the Leo constellation, I was kind of being told how, like, I was, I was essentially being told that I have to, um... That I had to go to that gal. Let me show you. I have to go here. I was being told how I got to go here. Because there's beings who are trying to like go here and take over the galaxy. Specifically the land of the ooze. Like there's beings who want to actually like control the ooze. And use like the quantum shit for like their own purposes and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So because I had to like guard the constellation. I mean I had to guard the galaxy. Specifically the land of the ooze. Right? I had to guard that. Essentially, you have to guard the planet that the ooze exists at, right? I mean, it's really not, it's not just one planet. It's like an area of the galaxy that's about right. I mean, actually, we have that red shit all here, but it's like somewhere around here where I was at, right? You know what I'm saying? I had to, like, I had to guard it, essentially, right? Because you had, like I said, be trying to take this shit over for, like, malevolent purposes, but also you had niggas who would be, like, junkies who just want to get the ooze to proceed the quantum realm. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas would become junkies off this shit, right? So with that being said, Oh, I got my fucking script up showing y'all this shit. Let me put my shit down. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so with that being said, right, I was asked to help, I was asked, or I was more tasked to go to the galaxy to help guard it for a certain period of time, right? You know what I'm saying? So, I was learning about the history of it, and then I eventually got sent there, and I got initiated into the cult, right? So with the ooze, right, they have different forms of the ooze. Like when when you first worked with it, when it, when they first started experimenting with the shit, they would just have the shit, take the shit, become fully quantum, get fucking lost. They would have all kinds of fucked up experiments, right? But over time, they learned how like you could you could take the ooze in different dosages to get a different effect, right? And you could also mix the ooze with other things that help to clear the ooze from your system. Because if you take, like, the pure ooze, right, the the stuff stays inside your system, you know what I'm saying? And then you're stuck perceiving the quantum and you can't turn it on and off, right? When you have the stuff inside the ooze to make it leave your system, it's like you'll take this shit and perceive the quantum, but only for a certain period of time, then it wears off. So it's like with the stuff inside the ooze, it's like taking a shroom. You trip off the shroom for a certain period of time, then you're good. Without the shit inside the ooze, though, without the fucking trip killer substance, you'll be tripping for life. You know what I'm saying? Unless you learn how to stop the trip on your own, which you can do. Because it's something like, it's like... I'm still, trying to, I'm, trying, I'm still trying to understand the science of this shit, but with the ooze, right? It's like you'll take the ooze, and then it's like the intelligence of the ooze. It's like the ooze kind of like comes. It's like it's a, I mean, technically everything comes from the quantum shit, but this shit is way more connected with the quantum than other things, right? So it's like when you take it, it's like it's telling your brain. It's like you're in the quantum. You're in the quantum, which makes your brain st and makes your whole entire energetic structure it makes your whole entire energetic being restructure itself to perceive the quantum. So it first starts, right, with being able to, like, hear the quantum and feel it. And then you can start seeing it. And at some part, you actually exist fully inside the quantum, right? And it's, and it's not like you become smaller and smaller and smaller. It's more like you become, like... It's like if I was, if I was to start becoming more quantum, right, at first you wouldn't really notice anything, right? At first, it would be the, the change would be all inside of me through what I perceive. I would start like start hearing quantum shit, perceiving thoughts from the quantum. I would start feeling it and seeing it more. And then as I start to exist more inside the quantum, you would see my body kind of become like see through until I fucking disappear. So I don't get small and disappear. I kind of get like see through, see through, see through that I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. Right. So with that being said, when I got initiated, right. What they first do, right, they give you a small amount, right, of the ooze, 
that's also mixed with, I'll just say, a trip killer, right? So you have the ooze and the trip killer, right? When you when you when you do the first initiation, what they have you do, right? They have you take it, then they observe you, and they help, and they they make you they they, allow, they pretty much make you perceive the quantum level at a very small amount. So you won't really like see different beings, but like you'll like hear different quantum phenomena and stuff like that, and like you'll like see like different like colors and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you won't actually see beings, but you'll actually start to hear them. You know what I'm saying? Like like you'll hear them on ever small amounts, and then the more you take, the more and more you'll hear them, right? And it'll kind of it like it's like you know how like they'd be like drink the ooze, drink the ooze. When someone's being initiated, they'll actually have you in the middle of all these quantum beings, right? And they're all saying kind of like drink, you could say they're saying drink the, they're not actually saying that, but we'll say they're saying drink the ooze, right? They're literally surrounding you, right? You can't see them, you know what I'm saying? But as you take more and more of the substance, right? You start to hear them, feel them, you'll see certain colors and shit like that, right? That's the first initiation, right? If you react well to that, then you get taken to the second one. The second one, right? You can now actually see all these different beings and start to see like the locations and the structures, right? So like you'll do the second initiation, then you'll actually see the beings be like, oh my God, you have this weirdo right here, this weirdo right here. You have this, like, like I said, on the quantum shit, my fault, on the quantum shit, it's very heavy. Um, the, the felines and the insectoids get along really well. You know what I'm saying? Because insectoids... There's actually insectoids that actually help to manage the whole entire quantum plane. So they'll manage different quantum realms that exist on the quantum plane. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, right? Oh, let me say this too, right? If a realm becomes physical, like our galaxy, right? The Milky Way is a certain realm, right? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, before I would say the physical realm, now I'm saying the physical plane, right? And then the galaxy is inside the physical plane, right? If a galaxy or a realm becomes physical, it also exists on the quantum. However, there are some realms that only exist on the quantum but don't exist on the physical. You see what I'm saying? Now, the thing is, right, with some of these, like, quantum realms, right, or these quantum galaxies, right, you'll be inside of a physical galaxy, right? But the quantum galaxy will literally be in the physical one, you know what I'm saying? But it's quantum, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it says like it's technically really small, you know what I'm saying? But if you're inside it, it seems big as shit. You see what I'm saying? So you you have that also. You'll have quantum realms that are inside of you'll have let's just say galaxies. You'll have quantum galaxies which exist inside physical galaxies as well. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that. It's it's like there's a whole bunch of quantum galaxies inside of that one main physical galaxy like like let me show you guys you know what i'm saying so fuck where's my mouse at there we go so you have like this galaxy exists this galaxy right exists physically right you know what i'm saying but there's a quantum level of this galaxy you know what i'm saying and then also on that quantum level, you have several other galaxies, you know what I'm saying, that are literally inside this one galaxy. I know it could get confusing, but I try to keep up, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, but all that being said, right, I got the first initiation, right? I reacted well, then I got the second one, right? I saw all the beings, it was crazy. And then the third time, right, like, like, like when you start, when you actually see the beings, right? It's like you'll see them, but they'll kind of be like see-through. And the location is like, it, when you see quantum locations, they'll be like very hazy and see-through, right? With the third initiation though, right? They make you take like the most that you've ever taken, right? And they literally go to the quantum plane. Like literally, you, you, you literally exist there. Like if you were, like if if people are in the physical, they literally, they literally no longer see you. You know what I'm saying? You will still see them. But they would no longer see you. And when you see quantum beings, they're now perceivingly physical. You know what I'm saying? And the locations are perceivingly physical. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're actually fully on that level. So instead of just seeing it, you're actually now fully there. You know what I'm saying? And they will see how you react off of that. Then at some point you come back. It's really weird because like, like at, you know what's crazy? There's a movie that's called um, Syn Synchronic. Something like that, right? It's not about the quantum realm per se, but when you take, it's like, it's like you'll take this pill, right? You'll take a drug called Synchronic, and then like you literally like, it's like, 
It's like you end up like moving through time. But when people see you, right, when you take the pill, you start phasing out of time and then you reappear somewhere else. It literally looks like that when you start to phase out. Let me see if I can find a video of that shit. Hold up. I want to show you. I want to show you that shit. You know what I'm saying? I actually found it. So, oh shit. All right, boom. So he just took the pill, right? And watch what happens. Being Sadler, which sounds a lot better than wasting a week from cancer. He just disappears. You know what I'm saying? No one sees him anymore. Just phased out type shit. You know what I'm saying? Dog can't even see the motherfuckers. Like, yo, dog's like, yo, where the fuck is this nigga go? You know what I'm saying? He just appears right, he just appears right here. That's what it's like when you take the fucking ooze at its full extent. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like if he didn't, like, let's say he took a little bit of the ooze, right? He would just, like, if it was the first initiation, right? He would just hear this shit, right? He would hear some of this shit, you know what I'm saying? He might see minor visions, but not really, you know what I'm saying? He might phase in and out. With the second shit, he would see the full landscape, but he wouldn't actually be there. He couldn't, he wouldn't be able to like, like, like he may, he may like feel minorly cold, but he's not actually cold. He's just like perceiving the location, but he's not actually there. With the third initiation, he actually fucking appears here. You know what I'm saying? So at, with the first one, you he would just hear this shit. Second one, he sees the shit. Third one, he's inside the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what it's like for me. When I first took the shit, I'm just like hearing like certain beings talking. Like, what the fuck is that? I'm like seeing like minor quantum orbs and shit. But I'm like, okay, what the fuck? This is cool. Then the second time, I start seeing shit. I'm like, oh, there's a being over there. You have this quantum location right here. But I'm not fully there. The third time, nigga, it was like this. It was like that. It was like this. I took it the third time. It was like that. And I just fucking appeared in this location with all these big surrounding me and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened, right? So I did all that shit and it was crazy, right? And I think that I'm pretty sure that my boy Cash, I don't know if he was there at the same time as me or if he came later, but I know that at, um, I know that at some point, he went through the shit also, but he didn't go as far as me. Like he did like all the initiations. However, once you go through all three of those, right, you're considered a part of the cult, you could say, right? Now, when it came to me going to like, when it came to me going to that galaxy to protect it, I think all I had to do was be initiated, right? So I had to go through those three rituals and that was it, right? You know what I'm saying? Reason being is because in order to protect this shit, I had to know what the fuck I was protecting. You see what I'm saying? And then on top of that, right? It also just helps you. It also just helps you like to understand the different beings that live on the quantum. And once again, you see who you're protecting as well. You know. Now, with that being said, when you're a part, when you are a part, like when, once you go through that whole entire ritual, they say that you have acquired ocular sight, right? But you have that mastered ocular sight. You've acquired it because you have been able to see into the quantum realm fully. Actually, like, because, like, like, while being taken through the ritual, it's like you're acquiring different degrees of ocular sight, right? The fullest degree is actually being able to fully go inside the quantum, right? You know what I'm saying? At that point, you've obtained ocular sight, right? But you haven't mastered it yet, right? In order to master ocular sight, and then work your way, and then work your way up inside the ranks of the civilization. You have to be able to take the ooze without the trip killer. You know what I'm saying? When you take the ooze without the trip killer, it could get stuck inside your system forever. And when that happens, you need to learn how to turn it off for yourself. That's why it's mastering the ocular sight. Because when you master ocular sight, you have the ability to literally turn it on and off. You know what I'm saying? However, most like a lot of people don't want to go that far. Like when you get initiated, when you get initiated and you're a part of the civilization, right? They start seeing like, okay, he can he they, they'll see like, okay, he can handle the quantum realm. He's cool with the shit, all that other stuff, right? And by the way, the felines, right? Where the the fe so the beings who are already on this quantum level, they already kind of like joined up and formed their own kind of gang. However, it became like a cult. That you get initiated into 
when the felines actually found the ooze because it became a thing where it's like the felines saw it as, yo, we could use this ooze in order to have people learn from the quantum realm or the quantum realms. People could literally go to the quantum, experience these different beings, see the different locations, learn all these different things, and then come back to the physical. You know what I'm saying? So it became a whole thing for that, right? And the quantum beings love that shit because it was now a chance for them to interact with these other beings who, could, who, who normally wouldn't be able to see them, right? So with that being said, when you're a part of that cult, right, you're mainly inside that cult because you want to, be, you, you, mainly because you're fascinated by the quantum level of reality and you want to learn more about it. You know what I'm saying? So because of that, right, because you're like, you're like, oh, I fuck with the quantum plane and shit like that, right? You you join the you join the cult and then like every they'll have like different time periods right it'll be like every every month like once a month right they'll have a fucking ritual right where you take the ooze you see into the quantum you trip out you learn shit and it's cool and then like at the end of the year they do the one big ritual where you actually fully go to the quantum realm and they have different ones where it's like you go to the quantum realm for like one day you'll go for like a week type shit da da da, da you know what I'm saying. They have stuff like that, you know? So, this is how the cult kind of works. It's essentially a cult that is centered around being able to access the quantum through the ooze. Being able to get that ocular sight through the ooze, you know what I'm saying? And then when you do that, you encounter the quantum, you see all the beings there. And technically, all the beings on the quantum, technically, they're not a part of the cult. But they also are. Like, they're a part of the cult in the sense of... They are a part of the cult on the quantum level. Like when you go to like the quantum plane and shit like that, these beings will help assist you through the, through the quantum plane and shit. You know what I'm saying? But they're not a part of it phys physically. You know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, right, you would have beings, right, who kind of like get obsessed with this ooze and want to like take this shit without permission from the cult leaders, right? That's why that's 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 why I had to fucking protect this shit. One, because you had the fucking junkie niggas who get like obsessed. Like like they'll take the shit and then like it's like they take it and then they have the experience, then it goes away, and like, y'all want that shit for life, bro. Give me the ooze without the fucking trip killer, right? Which you can do that. But in order to do that, you have to be initiated type shit, right? Some niggas were like, nah, fuck that. Give it cause you you like they would do it in doses, right? Which I'm gonna explain, right? You know what I'm saying? Some niggas would say, nah, fuck that. Give it to me all right now. I need that shit right the fuck now. You know what I'm saying? Then other people, right? They wanted the ooze mainly because they saw it as if I could access the quantum realm, right? I could see certain things that other people can't. And then because of that, I could manipulate certain things that other people can't. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So with that being said, niggas, pretty much people wanted to control the quantum realm on some negative shit, right? Which is why I had to protect that shit. Now, with that being said, I felt like, bro, if I'm going to protect this shit, I got to, like, master the ocular sight. Plus, I thought the quantum shit was cool, and I wanted to master ocular sight anyway. So because of that, I'm like, listen, yo, initiate me to the higher and it shaped me into higher teachings. You know what I'm saying? So when they do that, right? They give you the ooze. But it has no trip killer. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, when you get the ooze without the trip killer. It's like having the ooze with the trip killer for the first initiation. However, it's not leaving your system. So like when you first get initiated, right? You take the ooze with the trip killer and you'll trip for like 10 hours, right? With this shit, you're tripping until you make yourself stop tripping. Now, there's like a certain period, right, where you can still take the trip killer and then it'll leave your system. It's like after like, we'll say like, it's like if you take the ooze, right? If you haven't gotten off the ooze within like five days, they'll give you the trip killer and then, nigga, like, you'll be good. But it's, like, after five days, right? If you haven't taken the trip killer, it's like you're stuck like that. It's like the ooze has became one with your system, right? And the only way to get off the ooze is to convince your mind that you're not quantum. Because, like I said, the ooze is saying, nigga, you're quantum, nigga, you're quantum, right? And if it says that for over five days, you'll fully believe that you're quantum until, by your own will, you say, I am not quantum, and then you turn it off. You know what I'm saying? 
Before turning it off, though, the trip killer just kind of just kind of does it for you. But it's like after five days, the trip killer, right? When the trip killer says you're not quantum, it's not strong enough. You have to do it with your own will and not the trip killer. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it was for me, right? Um, with the first ritual, it, it didn't really take me that much time to complete. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like I did it, and they didn't had it, it didn't get to a point where they had to give me a trip killer. You know what I'm saying? Now, the second initiation, right? Like I said, the first one, I'm just seeing shit, hearing. I mean, I'm just hearing shit, feeling shit, seeing minor shit. The second one, I'm actually seeing shit. Like, I'm seeing the beings. I'm seeing locations. I'm just not fully there yet, right? And this one took me a while. Like, like I kept on being reset. Like, I would take the shit, couldn't overcome it. They give me the trip killer. Then I try to get initiated again. Couldn't overcome it. Give me the trip killer, you know what I'm saying? At some point, though, I was like, fuck it. Stop giving me the trip killer. And like I said, because I was reliving the memory, it's like I would live it out in fragments, right? So I don't know if like, if they just said, okay, we will give you the trip killer. Or if like I had to convince them or if I like tricked them. But somehow I was awesome shit like, bro. I'm tired of taking the trip killer. Just let me be on this shit permanently. And somehow I was able to do that shit, right? So when that happened, right? The five days passed and I still wasn't off the shit. And I ain't gonna lie. I started going kind of crazy. And here's why, right? Many people actually go crazy off this ooze, right? Like like when they would take it without the trip killer shit, they would take the shit and now they're seeing quantum beings. And these quantum beings, right? Like some of them, right? It's like some of them are like, bro, Come join us. Come here. Take more ooze, right? And you can't stop seeing these beings. So you have these quantum beings constantly coming to you, trying to pull you to the quantum and shit like that, or just make you do certain shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's like these beings make people go crazy. And I was kind of going crazy because, like, what I'm just always seeing quantum shit. I'm hearing quantum beings all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, make the shit stop. But I could no longer make it stop. And at some point, I was like, bro, at this point, my nigga, just give me all the fucking ooze. Not even because the beings are saying, hey, take all the ooze. But because I'm on some shit like, bro, at this point, if I'm going to fucking see the quantum all the time, I might as well just fucking be there. Now... Even though I was trying to do that shit, I wasn't able to get the ooze and do the third initiation. And because, of, like, like I was trying my hardest to fucking get that ooze, but they were, protect, they, were, they, was, they were protecting that shit a little bit too well. So at some point, I just gave up and I had to isolate myself. And I was forced to just sit down, sit with the quantum shit, and at some point, I mastered that second initiation to the point where I could shut off the quantum sight, right? So it was time for the third one. Now, because I had chest went through all that shit where I couldn't turn off the site, do that other shit, and I wasn't trying to fucking, and like I tried to fucking take the ooze and shit like that, because I just because I just did all that shit. They had me wait a certain period of time before the third before the third initiation, and they also would prep me right. So like instead of doing like initiation one and then two and then three. I did number two, and now we had a fucking 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, right? I would do all these mini tests to work my way up to the third test, right? Now, the thing is, right, when the third test came, I mastered that shit pretty easy. Like, I might have, I did might have trip killed my shit one time, but either I didn't get trip killed at all, or I got trip killed one time, because I remember just going to the quantum shit fully being there. And then I mastered that shit after a few days. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Then at that point, I mastered Ocular Sight. And I became like a pretty big leader of the civilization. You know what I'm saying? And now at this point, I was fully protecting that motherfucking ooze. And I also, like, when you when you become a master of the Ocular Sight, you're able to now distribute the ooze to other people. So I would go around... And I'll be like, hey, y'all niggas want some ooze type shit? You know what I'm saying? However, I will say this, right? There was beings, right, who were on the quantum level, who were able to become physical again, who started taking the ooze. It would force people to drink that shit. Like, there would be people who was a part of the, and Even if they weren't quantum before, right? There would be people who got initiated into 
that civilization, right? And most of the time they they went crazy. Like they usually like got to a point where they like were perceiving the quantum, but they couldn't stop perceiving it. And because of that, they wanted everybody else to make them perceive the quantum too. You know what I'm saying? And then some of them wouldn't even really be stuck. They just thought that other people didn't know what they knew. And they're like, bro, you got to take the ooze. You got to take the ooze, bro. So it's like in the civilization at the higher ranks, the white felons mainly were like the distributors and stuff like that. And the black lions helped to guard the shit. Even though with me as a black lion, I could also distribute it too. But the white ones were at the top, right? And at the top, they were very mature with it. You know, they had the different dosages. They had some mixed with trip killers, some not mixed with trip killers. They were they was really responsible. They wouldn't really force nobody. But it's like the people in the lower ranks, right, who got their hands on the ooze and stuff like that. Some of them would, like, get their hands on the ooze where they were supposed to type shit. Or it would just be a whole bunch of other stuff, right? So it's like, with that being said... They would be like, bro, y'all gotta take this ooze. And they would like force people to take the ooze all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I wanna say this too. With this ooze, this ooze actually would get like shipped throughout the galaxy, right? Like the like the white felines would like ship it to people. But then it also became like a fucking like drug cartel thing where people would like illegally get the ooze and then illegally ship it and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's this shit was really interesting, bro. And I wanna say this too, right? At some point in my journey, right, it was like, it was after Octorus started to go to Antares, right? I would, like, while being in Antares, I encountered those scorpion bears that I mentioned before, right, who have the venom, which is mixed with the fucking ooze, right? With the scorpion venom, right, their shit is way stronger. It's like, like, for example, one drop of venom versus one drop of ooze is way different. One drop of venom will send you to will send you to the fucking quantum, but one drop of ooze will like make you just fucking hear the quantum. You know what I'm saying? And what the scorpions, right? They'll sting you, right? And they they're very conscious with how much ooze they inject inside of you, right? Because with some of them, they'll inject so much ooze to the point where it's like you become like so quantum. That some quantum beings can't even fucking see you. It's like you just go into fucking oblivion, essentially. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, right, you could drink a whole bunch of ooze to the point where you get to that state. You know what I'm saying? I actually started experimenting with that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't get fully that deep into the quantum until the whole scorpion shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, at some point, I started experimenting with scorpion venom. And that's when I got really into the quantum, bro. That shit, that, that would be millions of years later, though. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. That's what it's like, going to that quantum shit. I experienced that quantum shit, and um, I learned a lot. Like, like right now, after reliving that shit, I actually have the ability to, like, use quantum sight. I can't go fully quantum, like, right in front of your face. But, I mean, I could, like, go there on some astral shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, when I use, the, yo, when I use that shit inside the astral, that shit get wild as fuck. But even, while inside, but even while in the physical, right, I could, like, magnify my vision in the sense that, like, I could look at you, right, but then, like, get, like, more magnified, and then, like, I could see your heart, you know what I'm saying? Then I could see the cells of your heart. Then I could see what makes up those cells. But I could also, like, like be like this, right? Then open my shit up and start seeing... <laughs> I just didn't. There's literally a being over it. There's, like, a, there's a quantum... There's actually quantum beings, like, low-key be everywhere, but there's one specifically right here. Like, like, if I get more and more quantum, I'll see more and more beings, right? But, like, we'll, we'll say, like, on, like, the first quantum level, there's a being that's literally right here that's like, hey, what's good? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's, he's cool. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, could open, I could, like, see quantum shit now. And I could, like, I could choose how much quantum shit that I see. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still learning more shit about it, like, every single day. But one thing about being inside the quantum is that when you're inside the quantum time moves extremely fast so like you'll live out five days in the quantum but that shit was like fucking 50 minutes inside the physical you see what i'm saying and because of that you could also like be inside the quantum but then like see like certain events happen before they happen 
And then you could also influence those events. Like, you actually have frogs who would do that shit. Like, frog beings who are naturally connected with the quantum, they would, like, be able to tap into quantum timelines, right? And then, like, they'll be able to communicate with different physical timelines of themselves and then influence the quantum timelines to make them manifest a certain kind of way inside the physical. It's really interesting how that quantum shit worked, bro. But quantum shit is so fucking amazing, bro. And I, and I learned how a lot of beings on the quantum really want to draw people to the quantum. And they'll like, it's like they, like they'll make, they, they can make you go crazy. The quantum can make you, like quantum beings can make you go crazy. Even just hearing quantum phenomenon, bro. Because when you hear quantum, it's like there's always shit going on in the fucking quantum, right? And depending on how deep you go, you would just hear like the wildest, weirdest shit. And like, it could make you go fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, bro, that, this was a really interesting experience, bro. I definitely want to, like, I'm going to definitely go back there, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely going to learn more about it, and I'm going to definitely, like, tap more into this ooze and stuff like that. And I kind of want to make, like, I want to, like, use the, sh I want to use, sh like, make a shroom tea and use it as ooze or some shit like that. Like, fucking, like, make shroom tea, put some red shit inside of it, and then just make that bitch ooze. Then put that shit inside the fucking golden chalice, you know what I'm saying? That would be lit as fuck. But, um... Yeah, that's it for this video, bro. If you enjoyed this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, join my Patreon for more experiences. I'm going to catch you guys in my next video, man. I love you all. Peace.